Gemini. Gemini, this is a general reading. Certain things may resonate. Certain things may be necessary for you to kind of disregard. Listen to the reading with an open mind. Understand that not every event that is mentioned in this reading may play out for you over the next seven days. So always listen to this with flexibility and with an open mind. Some of you, I'm not speaking to you at all. This is not your reading. So please have the discernment and the discretion to know the difference. Um, please avoid making rash decisions based on a general reading. If you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you can, of course, book a reading on my website which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Lastly, Gemini, we always talk about sensitive topics. This will be no exception. If this is not the type of reading that you came in search of, please click off this reading. Let's get it. Let's see what might be going on for the Gemini nation over the next seven days. Things have been kind of hard for you. It looks like you've reached some sort of obstacle in your life, you or someone around you. Um, seems like you're trying to find your path you're there's something that you want to become you have an aspiration for something um i think you've been chosen strictly because of your integrity gemini you have some opportunities coming in your energy might be synergizing with somebody else's this is definitely gonna help with you as far as like creative projects and this sort of things you got some doors opening up for you possibly with moving but definitely professionally there's something that I think that you're trying to develop, a particular skill that you're trying to develop. You have a Scorpio in your reading. Somebody is videotaping you without your consent. Gemini. Somebody's running their mouth. So be careful about who you are telling your personal information to. You might have somebody that... Um, is only asking you, talking to you about your information so they can go and run and broadcast this information, gossip about it, this sort of thing. Something is um, keeping you from being the free spirit that you are this week. I'm gonna see what that is. It seems like it's hard for you to open up. For some of you, it has something to do with the relationship that you're in. For some of you, a relationship could be ending. Or maybe you're just not sure about what's really going on. Here we go. We got a lot of things going on in your reading. I'm talking about relationships. And then we got some other weirdness going on. I got this for Leo not that long ago. So some of you are dealing with a Leo. Some people are coming to you for your knowledge. Yet, I think that you are the, you, you are the knowledge bringer. Um, yet, you see how somebody's just very fixated on you in the background. I don't think this is good energy, but we're going to check this out. What does this say? Critical judgment. Yes, Gemini. You had some people that are watching you just to judge. People that are very nosy. Like I said, people that want to gossip. Go run and tell your business to other people. Some people that are ish starters, okay? You had some people in your energy that are trying to start drama. This is not the primary information because keep in mind, this is what's going on in the background. You know it, you're aware of it, but it doesn't have to affect your day to day. I think this is somebody that's the, the so called friend of yours. But somebody that you got to follow with, somebody that maybe you're not spending time with right now. The lovers, there you are, Gemini. Definitely winning at something. You might be getting the keys to something, or you might be restoring keys, return, turning in keys. Keys could possibly be relocated. You're showing up to set for something. Gemini, or some of you, maybe there's a TV show that you watch quite often, and maybe it's coming back on. I hear Netflix. I hear that that jingle, that 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 sound that it makes when Netflix comes on. So maybe something is is on Netflix. Maybe you're watching a good movie. Gemini, what's going on? Justice. 
Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords. Here's your Scorpio in the background. I was telling you, Scorpio is like the highlighted sign. You got some vultures in your situation. Some people are watching. You got at least three people, three stool pigeons that are watching you. Tattletales, people that are watching you to go report back to somebody else. That's for somebody. This is Gemini. At least that might be how you see it. And these might be the people that are critically judging you. So if you could be Gemini Cancer Cusp. Something's going on with a child. There might be a child that might need counseling. Definitely, I see a couple that may need counseling. There's trouble in paradise. Who is this? This is Gemini. There's, there's somebody you're not spending quality time with right now. You would like to because it definitely feels like this is your one. This is your person. Yet things seem a little bit confusing right now. Like I said before, it feels like you're not sure if something is over. You're not sure if you should let something come to an end. It's hard for you to open up to someone or you wish someone would open up to you. Or some of you are in a third party situation and maybe you're not sure if that situation has come to an end. The thing is, maybe you did call it quits with someone. Maybe you're not communicating with someone at this time. It could be somebody that you do have a child with. Or you're not communicating with a friend at the moment. It might be something that a child might need to discuss with you. Ooh, is somebody in jail, Gemini? Somebody might have been in jail in the past. You got similar energy for I did Libra, I did Aries tonight, and we got same energy, same exact stuff. There's a Leo, this in your energy, a Scorpio, this in your energy. Okay, so you're not speaking to someone. Maybe this is somebody that you're married to. Once upon a time, you had maybe the intention of marrying someone. That's what I do. You in a spell book. Somebody's doing spell work. Maybe you are into astrology. You're studying something. It's Gemini. That's believable. If some of you could be going back to school. You could possibly be getting your degree in something. It could be psychology. It could definitely be astrology. Is there a degree in astrology? I guess there's, there's, there's knowledge that you could still be obtaining. I'm just going to leave it that way. Something's going on with your home life. Possibly. Seems like you're impatient for something. Could be something that you're praying for, especially if this has something to do with a contract. It seems like you've got some good news or something may have happened that kind of turned your world upside down with your living situation. And so maybe this is you speaking, seeking your guides, seeking some guidance from your angels, but it might feel like it's just kind of hard to kind of sift through the messages the spirit is trying to send you about your situation you do it seems like you're house hunting you're you're looking on the computer you're jotting stuff down you're you're doing something i feel that you're possibly house hunting and there's an answer coming in for you i promise you somebody is trying to stop something that you're doing i mentioned to you you got three vultures three people that are watching you it may, it may be more but you got some individuals watching you and they're trying to prohibit they're trying to block something that you're doing and it seems like this is just giving you the blues this is gemini maybe some of you are going through an eviction and maybe there's an eviction that's being stopped or this is something that's on your record and it's it's preventing you from getting what you want so you could be going to the barber shop so you could be barbarous, possibly. The name Barbara could be relevant. You've got an Aquarius that's in your reading. And once again, you have a, a Leo child that's featured in your situation. Somebody passed away. You might be celebrating the death of someone that passed. Someone may have passed away recently. Or someone passed away back in the day. It's been a while. You could possibly be visiting the grave of someone that passed. Or this person is just coming up in your mind, in your thoughts this week. Wow, okay. 
Okay, that flew. What is this? Okay. Something seems like it's not working at the beginning of the week. It seems like you've done all you can, much to your dismay, maybe some spiritual work that you're trying to do to change a situation, to get the outcome that you're looking for. The answer is not no, it's a delayed yes. But at the beginning of the week, you may not know that because it seems like there's plenty of distractions that come through to uh, to uh, navigate you away from that, that kind of clear thinking. I promise you something is going on with keys. You could be getting the keys to a new house. You could be relocating your keys. Something's going on with somebody's skin. Somebody's skin is irritated or somebody is irritating you. You're irritated by something. Yeah, you're looking for a win. You're looking for a solution to something. And it definitely feels like there's, and it's a financial solution because that's what has you feeling stuck this week. Certain things didn't get paid. And it seems like that's what has you maybe a little bit worried. Some money. I mentioned to you, maybe it's a job loss. I'm not sure what this is, but you got some money coming through. For some of you, you're trying to sell a house or you're trying to move in. Yeah. So let's talk about it. I think that's what's going on with this whole situation. Unless this court situation has something to do with somebody that passed and maybe you're kind of like um, finishing up their affairs, their financials or whatever. You could have been left an inheritance. This whole thing about a move, yeah? There's a yes. It seems like you could be signing on the dotted line for a house, especially if this is something that you've been waiting for. It seems like there's something that's offered to you, a contract, an affirmative answer that helps you to relax because I think that that's what's going on, Gemini. Some of you, maybe you're moving from, to place, from place to place or you want to move but there's been a delay with being able to move or you're waiting for that call back about a house or about a job or from a particular person, you know? And it seems like it comes through. Some of you are being served papers. This is divorce papers, eviction papers, this sort of thing, because whatever paperwork, legal paperwork is being served, it looks like you're concerned about it at the beginning of the week. This feels like this is the very thing that you're like, well, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm like, you're not sure if you're going to have to pack your bags and leave. Some of you, maybe your lease is ending, but I think this is an eviction. And I think you're trying to stop an eviction from maybe showing up on your record or whatever. And maybe this is where you're speaking to your guides about. Like I said, it's a yes you have an affirmative answer to something, it's just delayed. You don't see it at the beginning of the week. At the beginning of the week, you feel like your world is coming crashing down, but it's actually not. It's just delayed. Not to say that it's not, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to make light of your situation. I get why you would feel this way, but be mindful of that type of thinking. Trust, somebody's trying to take something from you. Maybe this is what's frustrating you. Especially if this has something to do with money. Somebody took something from you. I'm trying to figure out what this is. What did somebody take from you? It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter what someone's trying to take. They're not going to get away with it. Especially not in the court of law. And especially not when it pertains to the laws of the universe. If somebody, you reap exactly what you sow. So if someone is taking something from you and it's done unjustifiably, there's going to be consequences for someone's actions. This could be you putting up some sort of, doing some sort of defensive magic because you have someone doing magic on you to try to block something or bring some sort of an issue for your life. I don't know why, but I definitely feel like you have a balance that you owe as you're leaving someplace. You're in some sort of debt. 
or you were sent home from work early and maybe those were some hours and pay that you sorely needed. So it's just kind of frustrating you. Some plans may, may possibly get canceled. You might be spending some time with pets this week. <laughs> you might be heavily distracted by some things that might play out, especially with children. Let's see, what's going on with Gemini? Oh, okay, somebody is trying to, there's something that I believe you're gonna be seeing online. This is where the deception is. So be mindful of um, things that are posted. Some things that are posted online or that are said online might get back to you. And some of this may be true, some of it may be false, but something, there's definitely detection of some sort of deception, unless this is like some sort of copy paste situation, somebody stealing your work or whatever. And it's likely that you work in social media, if that's the case. Monkey see, monkey do situations where people see and they see an opportunity to kind of um, come up on somebody else's work. That might be something that has you live it. That might be something that, that you're very concerned about is that that could also be something that um, kind of binds your attention. Bind. You are in a bind. Somebody's trying to bind you. You got, that's what I mean, you got three people in your situation that I think you think are friends or you think they're allies and they're not that. Somebody's trying to make a spectacle of you, Gemini or Class Watcher. It is with the money. Let's talk about it. Oh, I think we did. We touched on that. It's your ability. It's the disruptions. No matter how minor they are. It seems like they come up back to back to back to back to the point that it snowballs. And then it seems like time gets away from you. And it seems like certain things that maybe you needed to do that were time sensitive. Now these things have snowballed. And now they started to affect your funds. Could be a job that maybe you're wanting to get out of. Determination, this is what this feels like. Some of you, somebody could be terminated from a job. Come on. I, I, I don't really wanna talk about that, but it's coming up in the reading. So we're gonna switch gears to this. Um, something is going on with health, a health issue. Someone may need a pelvic exam or may need to get to the dentist sort of thing. Um, but I definitely feel like something connected to the lower body could be relevant uh, as far as maybe like a, a procedure that needs to be done. Maybe for you, you're afraid to go back to the doctor or you're afraid to go and see what's really going on with health. I promise you something is critical. Something is pretty serious for someone not for, let, hear me clearly. Do not panic. I may not be talking to you. I may be talking about someone that is close to you or I may not be talking to you at all in case you didn't catch that at the beginning of the reading. Some of you, this isn't your reading and I'm not talking to you in particular. So keep that in the back of your mind. But those of you who may need to know that, it was meant for you to hear that. I think that something can be healed if you, or there's a remedy to something that could be going on with you health-wise, you or someone around you, but someone needs to take the initiative to either get to the doctor, be persistent, somewhat like low-key pushy with the doctor to get a re resolution to a health issue that's been pretty chronic. Chronic. Maybe somebody is a weed smoker. You could possibly be flying somewhere, Gemini. Somebody could possibly be flying in to come and see you. We're flying for a professional situation. <sighs> You're getting some emails this week, some important ones, some ones that maybe you're waiting for. Because it seems like like you're waiting by the computer, waiting for a message to come through. So maybe there's something that you're waiting for um, um, online. 
maybe some work or you're trying to figure out some homework or whatever, your kids need help with their homework. I'm not sure what this is, but some sort of important message is coming through. Maybe as a result of something that you were looking for, now that message comes through. And like I said, it may be something about a house. It may be something about a job, that sort of thing. Whatever you were concerned about at the, before this week is over, you're going to see a win. This feels like this is a mutual thing. You could definitely be collaborating with someone on a project, but you definitely have a win coming in. You might want to talk to your parents. Maybe you haven't spoken to your parents for a while when this is your children. Maybe there's something that they may need to talk about. Maybe they're going through something with their dating life. Maybe they're hurt. Maybe they're frustrated. Maybe you see some red flags when it comes to someone else's dating situation or possibly your own. You could possibly be giving some input, some, uh, some information, yeah, information, I don't know, pointing out a particular red flag to someone you have dogs, Gemini, you're definitely blindsided by someone. There, there is something that you see. I think it's online. I don't know why I can't stop talking about this online situation. But it feels like that's what this is, what's being referenced the most is this. Whatever this is, you got somebody that leaves, somebody that comes back. Somebody's coming back. It may not be evident to you. Like I said, because of something that maybe you did see online or that you did hear through the grapevine. You were blindsided by something this week, maybe about somebody that you really love, but you're not around them. You're not talking to them at the moment. You might be going through some drama with them. Like I said, it's hard for you to open up or you're dealing with someone who is. Maybe they're married. I'm not sure, but messages come through it seems like you've been waiting to hear from someone or someone has been waiting to hear from you and there may be this message that comes through with this whole on again off again situation you might be making up with someone before this week is over gemini or cross watcher for some of you that's delayed because somebody is absolutely stubborn they want to talk to you they want to be with you but they might have some people that are in their ear about it they're saying no i don't do that don't do that don't contact this person. Don't don't be with them or this sort of thing. Maybe in some instances, that might not be bad advice. But in some instances, there might be people that kind of know about frame, like they're, they're framing parts of the story, but they don't know the whole deal. They don't know everything that has gone on. And it seems like, in other, in other words, there are critical parts of the story that have been left out because somebody wants to appear to be the perfect angel in, in, in their situation, and they really like that. You might be getting back to painting. You might be getting back to your hobbies, the things that you loved. Maybe these were some things that you had to kind of put on hold or put on the back burner because some other situations that were popping up, like I said, minor distractions that kind of snowballed into bigger issues. It seemed like it was that sort of thing that happened. You might be having some odd dreams. You might be experiencing sleep paralysis. Maybe you're astral traveling. Maybe this is an out of body experience that you're um, dealing with. I was talking to you about jail. No, I think we talked about that. Somebody's being served papers eviction papers somebody's locked out of something locked out of their home maybe that's what i'm saying over and over about this key take your key with you you might get locked out or maybe your kids get locked out yeah this is definitely a parent concerned about a child or you're concerned about um an elder in your life You do spell work. It looks like you're very spiritual. If this is you being the spiritual one, Gemini, that's why he's coming to you. Whether you do light work, you do other stuff, somebody's coming to you for this. Maybe some of you, um, you're doing this for profit. You, you've been called. You have a particular gift. And you might be answering this calling. You might be a psychic medium, Gemini, or cross watcher. You, it just seems like there's a lot of spirits that are very drawn to you. Spirits that are drawn to you for your light, 
but these would be dark spirits. These would be spirits anywhere in between. Light spirits as well, just period. They're drawn, your spirit is drawn to you. Spirits are drawn to you. Or you could definitely be thinking about being business owners. Or if you are a business owner and things have been kind of slow, things may speed up and become come in very quickly. So um, be prepared to uh, be prepared for the, the work that's going to be coming in pretty soon. Because it looks like you're pretty serious about whatever this is. You're putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into something. But then you got somebody in the background, not just one, okay? But you got some people that are trying to block you, impede your success with something, and just make things very critical and make things very, like, harder than they need to be. Why? We talked about that in the beginning. You got somebody that is just laser focused on you, being very critical of you, critical of every move that you make including the positives that's what i mean you just got some weird energy lurking around you and somebody that's trying to f up your money because it seems like they have their eye on you somebody's definitely giving you the evil eye um they got their eye on you but they also have their eyes on your money it wouldn't matter though like i said contracts are coming through you're celebrating the outcome of something positive in spite of somebody's objections to that, you're winning. You're winning a spiritual battle or you're just winning, period. You're definitely winning in court, Gemini, or cross watcher if something gets taken to court. And you are on the positive side of this, a positive side of karma. You're getting justice for something that was taken from you because it looks like somebody's definitely trying to take something from you, take credit for your work, take something that is rightfully yours. I think it's your money. Don't be stressed out or discouraged if a project is not really taking off immediately. It's not going to in some cases, but it eventually will. Keep going. You'll eventually make money off of your pro of, of what you feel called to do. Stay calm. Maybe you're taking medications or whatever. Stay calm in, in situations that would normally just take you over the edge. Like I said, little irritations, little situations come up and they snowball little by little. Bills being passed to this sort of thing. Stay calm. You fidget a lot, Gemini or cross watcher, with your hands. You, you had some sort of nervous, nervous tick, some sort of nervous habit. You definitely admired this week for your intellect. Why do we have the same situation that came up in Gemini? You have the same situation that came up in Aries and was a Libra. So you're dealing with a Libra. You're dealing with somebody that is doing some stuff behind your back, okay? They might be acting like it's just the two of you, but really behind the scenes there's something more that's going on. Or singles, if you're dating someone, just know that somebody's not ready to date exclusively. They might be talking to you, but they're also talking to some other people. Money's tight. It gets better before the week is over. Critically better, a lot better, if you can strategize and get your mind right. Come on, somebody is going through a transition like somebody is transitioning this week somebody is passing away did pass away you're witnessing that somebody i hope is not you're witnessing somebody pass away maybe you work in healthcare. um maybe you do hospice or you might may hear of someone's passing sudden passing I already told you somebody's doing magic on you. Not all of you, but some of you. Yeah. Project progress. Thank you, spirit. I was talking to you about, do you see that project progress? 
I was telling you, there's a project that you're trying to get off the ground and it doesn't immediately yield the results that you're looking for. Don't be discouraged. You're going to experience some positives within a business or a project that you're working on, maybe with school, maybe with work. Definitely a lot of threes in your reading and that would be you, Gemini. You're the number of three. You're the third zodiac. Maybe three is a number of... of Besides it being your zodiac number, maybe that's maybe you were born on the third. You were born in March the twenty, or you were born on the twenty third, the thirteenth, the the twenty first. Or you have three children. You're one of three. Your mom. You might be getting a call from your mom. And be mindful of somebody trying to go out of their way to gaslight you. Unless you were the gaslit person, you're the one that likes to gaslight. Somebody's trying to do it. Somebody's trying to play with your psyche, play with your mind, this sort of thing. Somebody is, I would say, is very well versed in magic. So this is why I'm telling you, keep your mind right. Somebody is trying to infiltrate, affect your thoughts. It might sound strange for those of you who maybe don't understand magic and how this works. And someone who knows how to move energy or manipulate certain energies, if they know exactly what they're doing, it takes effect. I didn't say that to cause you to be worried about it because that's that's the opposite effect that this is supposed to have. Maybe it was the way that I worded it. But I said that to say this. It's going on in the background. What I'm really trying to say is that you have a lot to do with this. Your mind plays a lot into this or it doesn't. It's up to you. Please don't allow someone's manipulation tactics, whether it's through gaslighting, whether it's through um, certain mental gymnastics that somebody is playing, magic methods that they're using. Goodness, do I really want to say this? Somebody is doing death magic on somebody. I'm going to just say it. There's, there's no real way to finesse that. It's not something that I want to say. I'd rather leave it out. But if it's in the reading, messenger is supposed to say what is in the reading. So I guess I'm going to say that that was for somebody. Watch your children. Please keep a close eye on them. It feels like that's what somebody is trying to. This where somebody feels like they can hurt you is through your kids. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Um, advice, Holy Spirit for the Gemini Nation. The Oracle, Sacred Living, Spirit Speaking, Intervention. You are the Oracle. This is you, or you could be going to a tarot reader. You feel called to be the Oracle of some type. Your spirit comes in, your spirit guides come in to give you intervention in a particular situation where you may feel like you're up against some sort of attack. Somebody is green with envy watching you this is the you see how these eyes are just weird and fixated in both cards it might be more than one person gemini why though this is so weird your guides say it's because it's time for you to expand it's because the fact that maybe there's some blessings that are coming in or because of your intuition the guidance that you do give to other people it feels like it has something to do with your gifts, your ability to maybe prophesy certain things before they happen, your way with words, the way that you're able to give insight to other people, or the things that you're writing, the things that you feel led to write. It's in a particular gift that you have that is causing you to stand out and have accolades, success, or it's something uh, petty, such as the house that you live in, the car that you drive. People think that they know your life, the ins and outs of your life, Gemini, but they really don't. And this is why there are people that are envious. But of course, Gemini could be the envious one. The reading could always go vice versa. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Just what we talked about, show the world what, you, what you're made of. You're meant to spread your wings. There's something that you're meant to move on to. It's not a mystery. It's something that your intuition has been telling you already. So now it's just time for you to kind of act on it and have the faith to do so. Because I definitely feel like you have the gift of ESP. You're able to see, 
you have the extrasensory power sort of thing. You're very perceptive. You're very sensitive to energies. So this is your guide saying um, that there's a solution. Every solution has, every problem has a solution. Again, through your intuition. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Oh, is that what I was seeing? I think that you are a light worker. I think I mentioned to you several times now that I think that you hear from spirit. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Maybe somebody's name is Hope. Your guides do want you to stay positive. Even given the circumstances that are playing out this week, stay as positive as possible so that you can see the solution, Gemini, and you're not so fixated on things that are playing out around you. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. We talked about that. Here's the confirmation. There's something that you're getting ready to receive, a particular gift, something that means a lot to you. You're getting, it's getting ready to happen. I mentioned to you at the beginning of the week, you're like, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Is this ever going to happen? You're waiting. You're on pins and needles. You're antsy about it. The answer comes through something that you've been waiting for. You're ending, you're on the receiving end of it this week. Past lives, release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. No, some of you are you. Maybe there's some karma that you accumulated in the past life. Maybe you're playing it out this 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 lifetime. I'm not sure. But I will tell you that maybe past lives, people that you've known in past lives. I, I mentioned to you astral travel. You might be connecting with these individuals in your dreams or in the form of meditation. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. The lovers, this would be you. Two paths, maybe two different people, two paths you could possibly head down. One of the paths could be to wait for someone to get it together. The other path could be to go your own way. You guys are saying you've got two paths, Gemini. You yourself, this would represent your energy. Decide what you feel is best, but your guides are saying be true to you. Don't be worried about other people's critical judgments of you. This is your life to live. These are your decisions to make. Choose them wisely. With that, Gemini Nation, this concludes your seven-day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. If you'd like to book a personal, you can go to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com, or you can stay tuned after this live. I'm, I'm taking uh, questions after this live reading. If, uh, if if you'd like to get on, get in on that, um, head over to um, the next live, which will start immediately after. Have a blessed beautiful, productive week, Gemini Nation. I'll see y'all in the next one.